And with his left leg, he's going to just try to hook. And, you know, he's thinking, I got this is how I, I think I can get him with this. What Max is going to do, he's going to do a spinning Shimada, basically. He's going to hop around that side here and then finish it. So let's take a look at this, guys. Here, I would like to say this is a beginner's mistake and a counter to it, but you see it at every level. I mean, you may even see it at the Olympic Games. In, in judo, you may see it sometime in Samo at the World Class Olympic. You never know where you're going to see it. But if, if I'm fighting, and here's the mistake. He's, he's in a hurry to throw me, and he's maybe desperate to throw me. Yeah, let's come around here and see the better view. And he's going to hook my leg. He's going to do the outside leg hook. He's just going to hook it like that. He's going to try to take me. You know, is it desperate to do it or is it that's all he knows? Right, so as, as he's hooking me and he does this, the obvious count is spin it out and hit the Uchi line. I mean, it, it, time and again, you'll see it work at all levels, whether at the local level or certainly even the world class level. So it's not always a beginner's mistake, but it's something. Some guy may do out of desperation, or you know he's had a strong wrestling background, or he just ran out of ideas. Okay, so that can happen. So we'll have you guys come on out here, and we'll, we'll parse this out and let you guys practice it a lot. So, so Mac is here. Okay, Max is going to do the throw. All right, we got Jake. He's going to come out here, and with his left leg, he's going to just try to hook. And you know he's thinking, I got this is how I, I think I can get him with this. What Max is going to do? He's going to do a spinning Shimada basically. He's going to hop around that side here and then finish it. There you go. Okay? We're going to do that speed now. So as you come on in, Jake, he's going to toss you. Boom. That's, it. That's pretty much how it ends. You the clocks. So as you're coming in, even if he comes in low, like a real low dive, like the rest of the world, that's even better. Because all Mac has to do, see his left foot spin out, catch him. Okay, so come on in really fast. Like, like a real situation. Good. You can see this because some guys, let me give you just for a second. Some guys will be you know, gripping like this, you know, they'll, they'll come in deep like this and they'll want to hook. And I, I know that's a cool move, a lot of guys try that and stuff. But the counter for it is Uchimata. It doesn't matter how I try the leg hook, or how fancy the leg hook is, Uchimata is a really, really solid counter to this. He might not always try to hook with his left leg. He might try to hook with his right leg. And if that's the case, Mac has got to be ready. So here's the situation. Let's say, to turn around and exchange places. Now let's say Jake is going to hook with the right leg, but Max, Max's a right side of judo player, okay? Right, so he normally throws off the right leg and hip. But in this case, he's going to have to throw off the left leg. So even with this kind of an odd grip, Jake may kind of dig in with his right leg and hook, well, Jake, the uh, 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 Max is just going to hop around and hit you out of from that direction. So it's a weird grip. But the point is this if he hooks your leg, whatever leg he hooks, you spin him out and hit you out. It's a classic spinning leg style hit you out. But as soon as Mac feels the leg coming in and threatening him, as soon as he feels me even going around the corner of it, that's when he wants to catch it. So it's, it's like the kinesthetic awareness, like the Japanese say, you got to feel your judo. And when Mac feels that leg hook, bam, did you see how he caught it? It's, it's a feel. It's, it, you know, you got you to know, that's why your posture has to be really good. If you're all bent over, you're probably not going to catch him with this very well. You're out, you're out of posture of over, okay? So he may even kind of, kind of like, why do I improve that? So when he starts to really low, he'll catch you with a lower. So it's not always about seeing the attack, it's about feeling the attack. Okay, that's the important thing here. So one more time, when Mike, Mike feels that threat, he knows that it's go time. That's it. Okay, so let's finish out, let's do a few more, and when you feel that threat, you work, you counter. And that Uchimata is a great counter. I mean, it is the natural counter for this Koso Tagaki.